think I might actually be starting off a vlog without a face mask on right now. So this is my future self coming to you. I just wanted to start off this vlog because I realized I never really did. The beginning of the vlog is kind of backwards, but I'll show you guys when we go back in time. It all makes sense. Thumbs up for 30 minute long vlogs. I hope you guys enjoy. Grab a cup of coffee, grab a snack. Here we go. All right, good morning guys. I just showered. I have had not enough coffee. I figured I would just get ready with you guys this morning. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics CC Illumination. I wanna go grab some coffee. It's also hella nice outside right now. So I kinda wanna just like go on a drive and get out of the house first thing in the morning. It's like eight right now, I think. So I'm gonna show you guys everything I picked up from Fred Up today because it's been sitting in my apartment for like a month now, which is kind of fun because I have no idea what I got. Like I literally completely forget what I actually ordered. Oh, and my battery's dying, awesome. We're looking glowy, folks. I just love how like healthy this stuff makes your skin look. Essential fatty acids, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. And that's what I need. Um, so I'm just watching a vlog by Shanexo. I got Costco bagels, which has been great and also not so great because I've been eating bagels every morning. This is my favorite cheese of life. So I finished up my makeup, everything except lips. I hate putting on lipstick before I eat breakfast. I put on that CC cream that you guys saw and then I powdered with Too Faced chocolate. What was that called? Yeah, the chocolate powder. My contour and highlight are the Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette. Blush is Too Faced, Pop Down Peach. Eyes, I just use the same A Cosmetics palette and like just smudge brown everywhere. And then lashes, I love these. These are the Pure Jet Setter lashes. Brows, I tried to do like a little bit more Fluffy. Ooh, bagel's ready. It's like, I don't give a fuck. I have shot, by the way. All right, so I think I actually want to try on my startup stuff and open this right now because A, I'm too excited. B, I have a lot of energy right now and I don't really feel like I need more coffee. But I'll probably go to Starbucks or something in a couple hours. ThreadUp box makes me so excited. This portion of the vlog is sponsored by ThreadUp. I've worked with them a couple other times because I genuinely love them and I'm addicted to ThreadUp. But I've gotten a lot of messages from you guys saying you are also now addicted to ThreadUp. Let's get situated. We're good. So if you've never heard of ThreadUp, they're basically a, whoa, almost just sliced my hand open. You know those scissors that are so freaking sharp? It's basically an online secondhand store. So they have tons of different brands on there. They pretty much have all of the main brands. Like they have Nike, Adidas, Free People, Toby, Banana Republic, Gap, Old Navy, you name it. <gasps> Ooh, they have different tissue paper. The little things in life. Ooh, I see furry things. So I totally forget what I ordered. I placed this order a while ago, but I see something that is furry. This is the Victoria's Secret one. So I got this furry Victoria's Secret jacket. Oh my God, this is way thicker than I thought it was gonna be. I could sleep in this thing. I've been really procrastinating turning on the heat. I've basically been like sleeping in jackets like this. Check out this friggin' hood. Hell yeah. Let's check out how much this stuff was. If you don't have a pop socket, best invention of 2017. This was originally 71 bucks. And I got it for $26.99. Oh yeah, are these the Sam? Oh, these are Stuart Wiseman. These look big. What size did I get? So it says these are size four and a half, which is probably why I got these. But these are Stuart Weizmann. Wiseman or Weizmann? I don't even know until I know my designers. But these were originally $465 and I got them for $20.99. Let's see if these fit. Oh, they totally fit. They just have like a pointier toe. Ooh, I feel like, um, what do I feel like? Oh, these are cute. They're like super comfy around my ankle. You know those boots that just hug your ankle perfectly? I can't tell if it makes my feet look too big like for my body, but this toe part, is like pretty long and pointy, like my toe ends right here. I think I went a little bit sweater crazy, but it is the season, you know? This is an off the shoulder sweater by Express. Originally $50 and I got it for $9.99. That one looks like pretty new by the way. Oh, this is sparkly. I didn't, I don't think I knew this was sparkly. <laughs> Not usually into a sparkly sweaters, but this actually might be cute. I don't know. Where was this from? Oh, this was also Express. So this was originally $50 and it was $12.99. I am all about this like neon orange red color. I love this for the winter and the fall. I feel like this in snow looks so nice. Where's the head? Oh, this is like a major, major turtleneck. So this is H&M and it's size large, but I think I wanted to get it because I could wear it with like leggings or something. This was originally $20 and I got it for $7.99. Oh, this is hella soft. Ooh, 
I love that color. Another turtleneck. I'm into the turtlenecks right now. This is Express. Oh, it's cashmere. That's why I tell us off. This was originally 107 and I got it for $22.99. Ooh, I love this like half turtleneck kind of thing. What is that called? H&M. This one was $20 and I got it for $10.99. Super cute. I think I'm good on the sweaters for a while. Okay, this one, you know those purchases where it's like it's either just hideous or it's hideous but it works? I kind of like it. I don't know, I kind of feel like a just married going back home to visit the family in like Wisconsin kind of man. Maybe this guy wouldn't be married. Maybe he's still single. I picture this with like a black slouchy beanie, black ripped jeans or something. I think it can work. This was actually Express. This was originally 107, 22.99. <laughs> Literally, I have so many sweaters. Where am I gonna put these all? Next up, I love this pukey brown color. It's like one of my favorite colors. Make sure this with like a dark red lip. This was originally 20 and I got it for 10.99. I remember when I was shopping online, I was looking at a bunch of different faux leather, like leather skirts because I've never found one that really fits me well. Oh, this one actually looks like it has potential because there's stretchy things on the side. $27 and I got it for 5.99. And then last thing I got looks like is this a coat? That's interesting, Taylor. <laughs> Why did I get this? I guess that's kind of cute. Maybe that could work. Was I awake when I ordered this? Oh, I think I got it because it was only $6.99, so I was like, maybe it'll work. All right, I want to try on a few of these. Oh, getting old. Okay, I actually kind of oddly love this jacket. I feel like it's one of those things that could look cheap if it was with a certain outfit, but if you wore this with really nice, like, dark, dark denim, I like the length of it. The length is perfect, it's not like too long. And then underneath it, I have on that H&M, I think this one was H&M. I love this neckline. Oh, this is hard to do with one hand. This one, I love. I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of this. It has like a slit down the side and it goes longer in the back. This would look really cute with leggings. So here is the camel colored sweater. Again, super comfy, baggy. I love these kind of things in the fall and winter. This with like a chunky cream scarf would look really cute. Maybe like a leather jacket or a coat or something. Okay, I wouldn't wear it with this sweater. I just tucked it in really quick. But this skirt is actually so cute. I feel like it fits really nice and it has the nice slouchy things on the side. I almost ate shit walking over here in these shoes. Last thing I want to try on is this hoodie because I'm so excited about this. Holy shit, see, this is warm. I'm so I'm so happy right now. Thread up you can shop online and also on their app. I like doing the app because it's just easier. I like to actually search by brand. You can search by category and you can have your preset sizes in there and everything. So it's just super quick and easy because you don't have to like sort through 5,000 things. Or you can just type in and search. That's usually what I do. So I'll just search like express sweater. It's right here. And then you can go through and shop. So if you've never shopped on ThreadUp, I'm gonna have a link down below in the description right at the top that'll give you 40% off your first order, which is awesome. Thanks to ThreadUp for hooking it up. Battery's gonna die. Oh, can't move in this thing. If you make videos, external hard drives are lifesavers. I have to back up my computer like every few days because the storage gets full because video files take up so much friggin' space. I think today's gonna be a major editing day. Look at this bokeh thing going on right now. Is it bokeh or boca? Bokeh. I still have the cooler in my <laughs> backseat. I'm actually seeing that friend tonight for happy hour, so that'll finally be out of my car, but I'm taking a work break right now and going to Starbucks, but I realized the zombie frappuccino thing came out, so I think I wanna try it. I'm also gonna get espresso because gotta have the caffeine. Try it for ya. Hi, can I please get the tall zombie frappuccino? The tall what? Zombie. Zombie? Yep. Anything else? And then a tall um, ice dopio with just a tiny bit of cream, please. Okay, anything else? That's it. Yeah, Thank you. All right, I just got it. I thought it was gonna be like blue and green, but it has purple whipped cream, which is very exciting. I have no idea what this is supposed to taste like, so let's go. Oh, oh, <laughs> dude. I think that's worse than the pink drink, purple drink, blue drink combined. This tastes like gingerbread pumpkin Pepto-Bismol. Comment down below if you have tried this zombie drink and what you think of it because I honestly don't think this tastes good in the slightest. I want to try this whipped cream though. Oh, even the whipped cream tastes bad. That's all of that I'm having. <laughs> I'm going to go back 
work for a few hours and then I'm meeting up with my friend the cooler friend and we're gonna go to this place it looks really cool it's called Essex check out these friggin drinks these look awesome put them in like tiki glasses that is a drink right there oh something else i wanted to tell you guys this is super exciting so i don't have 100 percent of the details when i'm filming this right now if you're in the washington area specifically spokane or like if you're in coeur d'alene anywhere around there i am going to be doing a meetup project beauty share which is a nonprofit that i work with they're doing an event called spala days that i guess they do every year with northern quest casino and northern quest was awesome enough to host a meetup for us save the date for sunday november 19th again i'll have more info in the description box and at the pinned comment we'll have to get a ticket to go to the meetup but 100% of the proceeds go to Project Beauty Share. So it's a great way to hang out with other Bay Ritos and just chill and talk about makeup. There's going to be like non-alcoholic drinks and munchies and stuff and by going you're also supporting Project Beauty Share. So I'm super excited. Thank you to Project Beauty Share and Northern Quest for hosting. So I'm going to be in Spokane that Sunday and Monday and then I actually leave for Oregon on Tuesday and I'm gone for like a week. So I need to get a few weeks ahead in videos again. Okay, I think my succulent thrives on neglect and can sense stress because whenever I don't pay him any attention, he's thriving. Look at him living. I just got back from dinner. Update on the cocktails. Didn't even get a tiki cup, but the food was really good. I got a Caesar salad and potato wedge things. But this foundation combo, I feel like it's holding up amazing. I'm not getting any creasing. I was just looking at it really up close. Maybe I need to start wearing that Too Faced powder more because it looks like it did when I first applied it. Have I ever looked better? I feel like in every vlog, I either start the vlog in a face mask or there's a face mask involved at some point. But I leave for California tomorrow morning. It's 11.30 right now and I've been up since seven o'clock cleaning, organizing, doing laundry, packing, all of the fun stuff. Now I need to vacuum the whole apartment. But I fly into LAX for one of my friend's weddings from college. I'm super excited. Rach is coming, then our other friend that we went to Mexico with a while ago. He's coming, so we're all gonna stay in a hotel together in Redondo. Then I'm gonna drive from LA to San Diego with him to stay with my parents for a few days and see my family and everything. So I'm super excited. It's 86 in California right now. Like, where is fall? It's cold here. It's like rainy and gloomy today. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling fall. So I figured I would start the vlog here so I can show you guys some of my trip. I'm not going to be like vlogging the whole time because I kind of want to just enjoy and take a break and stuff. But right now it is vacuum house time. This, by the way, I never thought I'd be so excited by a vacuum purchase. I got this when I moved in and it is, can you focus? It is amazing. I'll have this link down below, but it's wireless, which just makes vacuuming way better. You just charge it and then you put it in. I actually got my mom this for her birthday <laughs> and she loves it too. So I'm gonna vacuum. This is the situation in my office right now. Uh, yeah, so I think today I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx and try and get a wedding bag to put this stuff in and a card and stuff. Me and my two friends are all giving her the card and present everything together. So we actually got her and her, uh, I was gonna say fiance, her husband, parasailing because we didn't let him come to Mexico with us. <laughs> And we went parasailing in Mexico. So we just got her these bottoms that say just married, a little hat, and I need to print out the gift card with the parasailing stuff. Face mask I'm trying out today is the Body Shop Japanese Matcha Tea. You guys know I'm all about the matcha. I haven't started Accutane yet because when I'm filming this, it's October 12th. I need to also go to the pharmacy. I have a shit ton of errands to run today. Pick up the Accutane prescription and start it today before the trip. So I'll be packing the Cetaphil moisturizing cream. This is, I've heard, really good for dry skin. And also the Aquaphor healing ointment. My first day will be today of Accutane. So I just quickly showered and got ready, put on some comfy errand clothes, and then I'll probably put on my down jacket because it looks like it's cold and it looks like it's raining. So we are gonna head out. So I just got back and picked up whatever meal this is right now. <laughs> it's like 3.30. Got Mexican, of course, even though I'm gonna be eating Mexican every single day in California. Refried beans, yum. Whenever I get a chili rano, I just eat around the batter stuff because the chili part is amazing and they don't make them without the batter like anywhere except this one place in San Diego. So I'm gonna eat really quick and then I'll show you guys what I got at Target. Hell yeah. Okay, so it's a few hours later. I 
can't even see the clock right now because I'll tell you guys why. Basically what ended up happening was I got the pills, Accutane, and you're supposed to take it with like a fatty meal. I'd been drinking water all day and everything, so I went, got Mexican food, very fatty, got some refried beans. Oh, I showed you guys that. So I was eating the beans and everything, took the day one pill, and then within probably like two minutes, started getting a weird reaction. I started getting super dizzy, felt very out of it, like not really all here. My vision got really blurred. I ended up getting on the phone with the dermatologist and my neurologist to make sure that that was normal. And it's not a normal reaction for like first taking it. Dizziness and vision, affected vision, are side effects, but usually that happens like a few days later or weeks later, even months in. It's not usually like an immediate thing. So they both seemed like kind of concerned. I just went back to the pharmacist and I didn't drive and had her check all the medications. She also didn't find anything that could be a reaction. I had kind of a similar weird reaction when I was taking the spironolactone. So who knows, I still have blurred vision. Like I said, I can't see the clock, which I usually can see the time from here. The dermatologist said to stop taking it and wait three days and then start taking it, which I actually feel good about since I'll be at my parents' house in three days. And that way also I won't be like drinking right when I started. I won't be at the wedding. So it'll probably be good to be home anyways when I take it for a second time to see what happens. But yeah, I'm still hoping for the best. The body is a wonderland. So October 12th, won't be day one, but I just got a few things at Target, so I figured I would show you guys really quickly. I did end up successfully finding the wedding present bag. I just got this cute little love bag with like a heart and glitter, and I went a little bit card crazy. I get so obsessed with buying cards for people. I'm that person who buys like multiple cards for one occasion. I got them two wedding cards, <laughs> but I have a reasoning. So one of the wedding cards is more serious, kind of. Here's the more serious one. It just says, hooray, cute, like little ring and gold and everything. On the inside, it just says best couple ever, kind of generic. But then this one, I really like. This one says, you may now update your relation status to married. <laughs> then my other friend is pregnant. I think I've talked about that in a past vlog. Yeah, because I was getting her baby present wrapping stuff. I've been going crazy with the baby clothes and everything. She's actually due really soon. This one I love, it says, you turn mom jeans into bomb jeans. And then this one is like a sparkly diaper and it says, shit just got real. Then I found a good card for my dad's birthday. It says, have your cake and tweet it too because he thinks he's like the social media king now after all of his YouTube debuts. And we're gonna film another video when I'm there too. I got some cake cups, illy. And then the last thing I got is a candle. I literally told myself I was gonna go into Target just to find the card and bag, and I ended up walking around the entire store. But this candle smells amazeballs. This is the Vanilla Pumpkin Chesapeake Bay candle. Mm, really nice, really great. So I need to pack since I still haven't done it. I've literally been sitting here on the phone with doctors for like three hours. I will see you guys in California. All right, so I'm in LA. I just got into our hotel room. Here we are. Don't even have to do a room tour. <laughs> you can see it all in that one shot. I am freaking starving, so I just postmates, of course. Very healthy. I got buffalo wings. I like haven't eaten anything all day today. And a milkshake. And then I got a side of fries. But look at this side of fries. I literally thought it was going to be just like a normal small thing. But my friend is on the way, so... He'll probably have some of these too. We're staying in Redondo Beach, so I think we're gonna walk down to the water and chill and check everything out. Recording this? No. Okay. Okay, now look the other way. Okay, now give me a little chin action. No chin. 
You gotta take him to the park. We're doing all that. Okay, here's a wave. And you're going, yeah, I don't even know what mom's doing. Following me? <laughs> yeah. First of all, remember to floss everybody. Oh, shit. You'll have to use one of mom's face washes too. That's good enough to get started in it. No, you gotta get all the eye makeup off. Really? Yeah, like in your lash line. My lash lines look great. <laughs> I don't even know what my lash lines are. Huh? Are we doing more squats or something? No, I'm just walking the dog all the time. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. When? Ooh, you're kidding. Uh -huh. Wow. That would be fun. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my god. Good morning, guys. It is a couple days later. I'm back in San no, back in Seattle. My apartment is a mess right now. Definitely need to clean later. I've been go, go, go since I got back, trying to catch up on stuff. It is rainy today, it feels very fall. I'm actually going to the pumpkin patch. Today is Saturday, by the way. And then we're gonna go work at a coffee shop after we go to the pumpkin patch. So just to give you a track of time, what a time reference, I'm on day seven right now of Accutane. Why did I turn on the camera? What was I gonna tell you guys? Oh, just a recap. So I vlogged a little tiny bit in LA, not really, just like to put to music. I just, whenever I'm with people, just want to enjoy it. I know I would like looking back on the vlog footage too, but I just would rather live in the moment and be with people and not have to have them worry and worry myself about like having a camera in their face. But the wedding was super fun. You saw it on Snapchat or Instagram stories if you follow me there. I'll try and vlog today since Pumpkin patches are exciting, right? I want to bring the new camera, like the wide angle thing. That's what's happening. I need to get ready. I'm supposed to pick up Rach in like 45 minutes and I still need to eat breakfast. I just got I just got my Amazon Fresh order. So I need to unload all these groceries. I'm like totally, totally out of food right now. <laughs> telling you to come out. That way? So exciting. Do you think they have the good food like they did here last time? I hope so. I hope they have coffee. <laughs> this guy's like, what is she doing? Hello. Ooh. Little Olaf. Come on. <laughs> Dude, how are people in like tiny cars going through this mud and shit? They're getting stuck for sure. My car too, like the yeah, front of it would. Yeah, yours would not. You would be right yeah. here. You would hit. Yep. <laughs> we made it. Yeah, it is kind of weird how you can't like see what you're actually yeah. shooting. Mm. <laughs> it was a nice shot. All of these are gone though. There were so many last year too. I feel like we're in the prime pumpkin season yeah. right now. If you want my body, get it. Here we go. Oh, I like this one. You, sir, are a contender. Oh, he's cute. I like him a lot. He has this no stem, cute. though. You lift weights, bro. Okay, so maybe this is how you look casual with it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're trying to figure out this vlog camera situation. <laughs> how to look stealth. Oh, I love him. All right, so it is Sunday. I am running so late right now. I walked for like an hour and a half this morning. Just got my nails done. I'm meeting up with Elizabeth just for a coffee and then I'm meeting up with my other friend. I'm getting on the freeway, gotta go. I am supposed to meet Elizabeth at one o'clock. It's 12.30 right now. The nails took way longer than I thought. I just got a shellac 
flawless change, but I still have to clearly shower. So I'm gonna attempt to speed get ready when I get home. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So I just got done with, we ended up getting lunch actually, and I was planning on vlogging, but it was a hell loud in there because there was a Seahawks game going on. So now I'm back in the car. I got ready in literally like 12 minutes. So I don't even know what's on my face or anything right now. I don't even know why I'm vlogging today. So I just got back home a little bit ago. It's like 8 p.m. right now and I actually had a really fun day It's rare for me having a day Especially on the weekend when I don't work and I haven't opened my laptop I don't think at all today, but I had a really fun day. I ended up going to a place called Queen Anne Beer Hall Which is like this huge beer hall and we just got a drink there got some food There was like a football game on tons of people in there. I'm just gonna take off my makeup I thought about editing right now, but I kind of want to just keep right in this train of relaxing. So I think I'm just gonna put on some blacklist. I can't get the blinds down over there. I'm gonna put on a pajama shirt. I still haven't unpacked from San Diego. I really wanna use up this candle. I've had this one in here for like months now. Actually, I've, I think I hauled this in one of the last vlogs, the sea salt candle. So I'm gonna light this one, but I'm also gonna light my pumpkin one. This is what adulting looks like. I've been trying to undo this freaking blind for like 20 minutes. I've got the blacklist going, coconut, La Croix, La Croix, current addiction. Can you guys open a can with one hand or am I just highly talented? That's what 25 years on the planet does for you. You've been dying to know. I did get the blind sorted out. Son, do you need help? I just went through my bathroom stuff and I'm doing some cleaning out for basically like face masks, face products, anything I can't really use while I'm on Accutane. I'm gonna see my friend in a couple days so I'm gonna have her go through and see if she wants any of this and then I'll just send whatever else to Project Beauty Share, just bring it with, I'm actually gonna see them soon so I'll bring it with me. India's Chipotle bag. There's some good stuff in here. There's like Ole Henriksen Glam Glow face washes. And then I'm working on, I think the vlog will actually be up before this video, so I don't want to show you what's in here, but I just went through my foundations. I'm doing a top foundations for acne coverage, extreme coverage, so that will be coming. You can finally see the floor in here. That stuff I'm going to be doing a giveaway coming soon. Got a couple Becca palettes, some Burberry stuff, MAC lipsticks, Urban Decay. I think I'm going to do a try-on haul at some point. Put away all the clothes. Those are like shirts I keep out for wearing for filming. Put away all the makeup. I need to clean that palette. So it is Saturday afternoon. It's actually like three o'clock the Saturday before Halloween. And I'm going to a Halloween party thing tonight, but I just did a major, major deep clean of the apartment. I did like four loads of laundry, clean the whole shower, bathroom, everything. As I was doing laundry, <laughs> still have some blankets and stuff going. Check out the thread up sweater. <laughs> Who knew? But apparently you can't put this material in the dryer because it looks like a freaking toddler sweater now. It is so small. I need to show you guys this in the mirror. Check out how tiny this shrunk. Whoops. So now I'm just getting some work done. I just exported the extreme coverage foundations that'll be coming uh, in a couple days. And now I really need to start editing this vlog because it's actually a Saturday before this goes up. So I'm gonna be pretty much working on this today and tomorrow. The Sony camera, this is what I used at the pumpkin patch to get that footage. Look at how tiny this memory card is. It's a micro SD, so you basically need to put it inside. Can you grab it? Look at that, that's crazy. So you have to stick this thing inside a memory card adapter just to import the footage into your computer. Oh, oh. Did I, what did I do? Just have a little like, <laughs> retain. Oh, I hate those. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. You never get that? those. <laughs> that's like a shooting. No. Like cramp almost. Mm -hmm. Are you filming? Yeah. You doing her hair? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the pictures from last night? From yeah. yeah. Top half of the skeleton in the bottom. Yeah. That's perfect. Oh, that's cute. Your hair is gonna get terrible. Hella textured. Right? Hella textured. I'm sorry. Hella textured. Yeah. Some Amy Winehouse music. Well, I guess you can't. <laughs> Copyright. Michael Jackson turned around and bought all the copyrights to Paul McCartney's songs and his own songs. Uh.
Okay, Amy. Gotta get my wings on later. I love it. We don't have to do the baby. Here is my What is this hair doing? Who knows? There's no hope. So it's Sunday, the day before you guys are seeing this, the day after we went out for Halloween. Last night was really fun. We went to a bar in Ballard and actually met a Bayrito there. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I'm gonna be doing a what to see, like must see places or views or whatever in Seattle. And I started working on that today. So Rach was awesome and helped me shoot that. We only went to two locations, two of the spots. And I'm gonna be talking about like six or seven, I think. And it took us like five hours. <laughs> We stopped to take a bunch of pictures and stuff too. But yeah, I think we got some really cool shots. Uh-huh. Oh. oh, wow, what a big pile. Woo Try one more time. <laughs> it really looks like 10 leaves like came down on you. And then the last like three hours, it's now 10 p.m. Yeah, since like seven, I've been finishing up this vlog that you guys are watching right now. So that's that. I thought I would just end this off right here because it's going up in the morning and I'm really not doing anything else besides working and i want to take a bath but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like vlogs and you want them to continue don't forget to give this a thumbs up it helps me out i love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye